gatekeepers. Amen. Now these gatekeepers, they are not spiritual connectors. They don't pray for you. They don't open the heavens above you. They don't even have the money to bless your destiny. Genesis chapter 41 verse 10 to 11. They come so unassuming. Genesis 41 10 to 13. 10 to 13 verses 10 says when Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me in the custody with the house of the captain of the guard, both me and the chief baker. Verses 11. We each had a dream in one night, he and I. Each of us dreamed according to the interpretation of his own dream. Verses 12. So, for the sake of time, when you go home, you take your time to read it. This cup bearer was so lower to the level of this Israelite or Jewish guy by the name of Joseph. And Joseph found him in prison. But whilst they were in prison, Joseph was good to him. And that is why I began by saying respect people. Amen. Be good towards people, even if they don't have money. Amen. Be good towards people. Don't look down on people. Respect people, regardless of their status in life. This young girl that is seated here today, tomorrow might become a queen mother of Lusaka, or might be married to the king of Lusaka, who might end up speaking to the, the king for the king to give us a plot to build a school for the church or to build a church for God. You never know. Respect people. While they were in prison, the Bible said Joseph interpreted their dream. And the next day, the dream Joseph interpreted because of the grace on his life came to pass. When the guy got to the palace, he forgot because he was living a good life. But then at the right time, when the right time came, he went to Pharaoh uh -huh. and said, when I was in prison, I met a certain young man. He was the gatekeeper that could open the door to Joseph's next level. Amen. He couldn't have opened that door if Joseph was not kind to him. Amen. Joseph was kind to him and when the right time came, he remembered Joseph. It is true that people do not have remembrance. Some people do not have remembrance when it is well with them. But it should not stop you from doing good to people. Amen. Because you never know where your help will come from. Amen. A gatekeeper is the kind of a person who will speak to somebody that is very highly important concerning your next chapter. Amen. And Pharaoh sent for Joseph yeah. because the cupbearer spoke to Pharaoh yes. concerning Joseph. Esther chapter 6 verse 2. The Bible said, And Mordecai stood by the gate of the king. And Mordecai overheard two soldiers who were planning to overthrow the king. And Mordecai reported them, and the king's life was spared, was saved, was delivered, because there was a gatekeeper who was not respected, who was overlooked, who was not so important, but as he sat by the gate, he overheard a coup concerning the king, and the king's life was saved. Respect your gate men, respect your garden men, respect your maid. You don't go to the restaurant with your children, helping you carry your maid, and you sit at a round table with your children, and the maid is seated somewhere else. God forbid that the church member here will be seen like that. Wherever is fit for your children to sit and eat, make room for your maid to also sit. And in some homes, a, a maid has no right to sit in the sofa. When you and your children are seated in the chair and, and, and peradventure, the maid must also watch television. The maid must, must sit on the floor. Even if it is a carpet, the carpet is meant for walking. The chair is meant for sitting. If it is good enough for your children to sit, it should be good enough for your maid to equally sit. Your gate keeper will be your maid that will save your life. The day she will get upset and decide to poison you, you are gone. Treat her well. Treat him well. Respect them as much as you wish to be respected. Mm -hmm. Life is a race. 
And it will happen that this maid will overtake you or even overtake your children and they will give birth to children that your children will go and look for job from their children. Gatekeepers, Mordecai's life was important to God, but it was not important to the king and yet it was Mordecai that saved the king's life. Gatekeepers, the next person that is seated to you, the perfume you have, it's more expensive than everything they are wearing. But they could be your gatekeeper that will save your life. They could be your gatekeeper that will speak to somebody in higher position that can open the door to your next chapter. Respect people. Respect people. We are talking about divine connections. And don't assume that when the man of God prays for divine connection, uh, some super angel is going to fly from America, the land of dollars, and appear. I am your destiny helper. I have come to the answer to your prayer. No. It could come through your gatekeeper. So I'm assuming. The Bible said, David, whilst he was in a hurry to go and deliver his wife and his children, met a dying young maid who was left by his, her master to die. And the first thing David did was to give them food. Was to give them food. Was to give them food. say ladder. Was to give them food. Was to give them food. The food was not meant for her. It was meant for David and his people. But David saw a life that was worth saving, not knowing that the deliverance God has given him will come through that dying girl. Amen. You look at yourself in the mirror. You say you are not my class. You look at yourself in the mirror. You are not my type. Mama, humble yourself in this life. Humble yourself in this life. By the snap of God's finger, your life can wipe, be wiped away just like that. Humble yourself. Are we together? Amen.